Hi, my name is Nick, the lead developer of Block Visibility. In this short video, we're going to walk through just how easy it is uh, to conditionally display WordPress blocks based on uh, the width of the screen or browser uh, on your website. So it, here we have a demo site uh, for an outdoor adventure company, and we're on the home page. And we want to hide this section, this Explore the World section on mobile devices. The idea is, is that this page is a bit too cluttered on mobile, and we want users to roll, go from upcoming day excursions right into upcoming tours. And while this looks nice on desktop, uh, on mobile it's a bit too much. So to do that, let's hop over to the back end, the block editor. And here you can see we have our home page. As we scroll down, actually there's a some promotional content here uh, that's actually being currently hidden by block visibility. Uh, the scheduling functionality, that's what the little calendar means. Uh, so that's why, so if you notice the difference between that and the front end here, that is why. Um, but as we scroll down, we get to the sections that we want to be conditional based on screen size. So we have a spacer block, a cover block, and then another spacer block. So we don't just want to remove this cover block because then we'll have these two spacers that add a whole bunch of space between the two sections. So we want to get rid of those as well. So when you have the block visibility plugin installed, whenever you click on a block, you'll get this visibility panel. And by default, the plugin includes three controls. It includes date and time, uh, user role, which you can see here, and then screen size. So the plugin, of course, includes a bunch more controls, uh, which you can enable as you need uh, from the three little dots icon. Um, but by default, you get date and time, user role, and screen, and screen size. So for us, we just want to click this option here that hides spacer on mobile. Simple as that. And then we'll go over to the cover block and we'll do the same thing. And then we'll go to our final spacer block hide on mobile. Now you'll notice that when you enable a visibility control, you get these little dashed lines and a little icon. So here we have the screen size icon. Again, here we have the scheduling date and time icon. So that's it. We're done. We're going to update the page, go back over here to the front end, give it a refresh. And now if we switch over to mobile, scroll down, there we go. Sure enough, it's gone. So we go straight from upcoming day excursions right into upcoming tours and destination adventures. So all pretty easy. Now, before we go, well, we're done, but uh, before we go, I do wanna show you one more thing. Now, pretty much every theme these days is mobile responsive, which means the theme will adapt uh, depending on mobile. So you can see that kind of here where we have you know, these three sections and then when we go to mobile they kind of all stack on top of each other. Now the point at which they they transition are called breakpoints and every theme has its own breakpoints. Um, by default the plugin includes um, a set of breakpoints which basically allow this these settings to kick in. So once you get to a certain width um, it says oh it's mobile and based on the setting, it will hide the block. Now, while these breakpoints will most likely work great for you right out of the box, there are times when you want, may want to configure what those breakpoint values are specifically. And you might need a few more breakpoints depending on your theme. Now, in the plugin settings, you can tackle all of this. So let's head on over to the settings panel. And when you get to the block visibility settings under the visibility settings tab, scroll down and you'll see the screen size option. And so here you see what the default breakpoints are. So for large it's 992, medium it's 768. So whenever the browser is below 768, uh, the plugin thinks that you're on a mobile device. Whenever you're above 768 and below 992, it thinks you're on a tablet. And then whenever you're above 992, I think you're on desktop. You could, of course, can change these values to whatever you like. Now, if you need more breakpoints, you know, let's say that you have a very sophisticated mobile responsive website, 
you can enable advanced screen size controls and that's going to give you two more breakpoints. It's going to give you an extra large and it's going to give you a small. And again, you can, con you can configure the, the values for these breakpoints as you like. You can also disable certain controls. So if, you, if you're never going to use this enable on desktop, you could disable that. And then in the block editor, those options will disappear. So again, you probably won't need to reconfigure this, but if you do, and if you, if you need it for your theme, the option is there. So again, I think most of the, this video we spent talking about settings, but when it comes to actually enabling the visibility control for screen size, it takes all of two seconds, very easy to do. And um, there's a lot of different use cases for it. So here we were just hiding something on mobile, but you can go the other way too. Perhaps you have a click to call button that you wanna show on mobile devices, but you wanna hide on desktops. Absolutely possible as well. So you're really only limited by your own creativity and whatever the needs of your website are. Um, and of course you can combine screen size controls with any of the other controls within the plugin, whether that be user role, uh, date and time, any of the other ones as well. So I hope you found that interesting. Uh, thank you for your interest in block visibility and stay tuned for more tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching.